Welcome to an exciting adventure in understanding pneumonia severity assessment. In this video, we will uncover the secrets behind the CURB 65 score, a valuable tool used by doctors to gauge the seriousness of pneumonia. Join us as we break it down into simpler terms and learn how different signs contribute to the final score. 1. Confusion present. Imagine a patient with pneumonia feeling disoriented and confused. The C in CURB 65 represents confusion. We assess this using a simple test that checks their cognitive function. If the score is less than 8 out of 10, it indicates confusion and adds to the overall score. 2. Urea level. Now, let's dive deeper into the U in CURB 65, which stands for the urea level. In community settings, this information may not always be available. However, if the urea level is above 7 millimoles per liter, it suggests a higher risk and contributes to a higher score. 3. Respiratory rate. Next, we explore the R in CURB 65, which represents the respiratory rate. When someone has pneumonia, their breathing may become faster. If the respiratory rate exceeds 30 breaths per minute, it indicates a more severe condition and raises the score. 4. Blood pressure. The B in CURB 65 refers to blood pressure. Low blood pressure is a concerning sign in pneumonia. If the systolic blood pressure, the top number, is below 90 millimeters of mercury or the diastolic blood pressure, the bottom number, is below 60 millimeters of mercury, it contributes to a higher score. 5. Age. Finally, we consider age, as indicated by the number 65 foot in CURB 65. If a patient is 65 years or older, they automatically receive one point in the score, highlighting the increased vulnerability of older individuals. Scoring and Treatment Recommendations Now, let's understand how these signs translate into the CURB 65 score and guide treatment decisions. Score 0 to 1, Treat as an Outpatient Patients with a low score can often manage their pneumonia at home with appropriate antibiotics and close monitoring. Score 2. Admit to the hospital. A score of 2 suggests a moderate risk, and hospitalization allows for more comprehensive care and monitoring. Score 3 or higher, intensive treatment unit, ITU, care. Higher scores indicate a greater severity, often necessitating critical care in the ITU due to the increased risk of complications.